got um, Holly Shapes or Hol Holly Shapes? Holy Shapes? I always say her name wrong. I don't know if it's Holly or Holy. I think it's Holy because it's only got one L in it. Um, she's got she does funky patterns and zigzags and triangles and circles and things like that and stripes. So that's what her plate image is all about. Um, there's a little um, bit about her on the back. Oh, her name's Ollie, the shape addict. Um, just reminds me of the 80s for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, but I've got um, 07 and I just really liked this plate here. It's got some neat sort of um, chevron y type, I don't know, zigzags, chevrons, interlocking ones. Um, that's really cool. It's got a little bit like a plaid type design there in that corner, some other stripes. Um, you could use these in lots of different ways, these ones here, use them across your nail. Um, that almost looks like a piano um, keyboard. But yeah, another, another plate packed full of really cool images and a lot different from images I've already got. So that's Holly Shapes Collection number seven. Um, and this is one of the older plates, so it doesn't actually have an image of the girl on the back. So that's that one there. Next up we've got um, Hipster. So um, this girl's got the little um, Mo Yolanda pug mascot on the front. So he's um, sort of one of the, uh, I don't know, it's not a logo, but yeah, he's one of the images that um, Mo Yolanda use a lot. Um, it's really, really cute. Um, her name is Frankie. So that's the first there. You can see the back of the cardboard sleeve. And I really like the front with all the little triangles and the colours that they've used are really cool. And then this was um, an actual plaid plate. So um, my collection of plaid plates is slowly growing. I don't know why I keep buying more, but I just do. Um, yeah, and, and it's got a really good selection, so you could use these images um, individually or you can layer them up by using different colours. Um, again, they're only you know big enough for um, people with um, medium to short nails like mine. If you've got long nails, you'd have to go to the XL version of this plate. And I just really like the um, selection of plate that you get there. It's really cool. That one actually looks like a wrapped present to me. I don't know why, but it kind of looks like a box with ribbon on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> a bit weird, but um, anyway, so that's Hipster Collection 06, and that's another one from the original range that um, doesn't have the girl on the back. Next up, another one to add to my Flower Power Collection, like I haven't already got enough already, but I um, didn't have this plate. So this is um, plate number 15. Um, the girl's name is Dahlia and I absolutely love this sleeve that this comes, I like all the sleeves but I mean this is just beautiful, it's got these gorgeous roses and flowers, I don't know the names of all of them but um, she just looks absolutely gorgeous and um, she's even got like a flower tattoo on her arm, um, just beautiful. So I've got quite a few plates from this collection. Um, and this one's number 15, so this one has um, 18 images and a lot of, I mean, pretty much the whole plate is paisley. Because it's got a little lot of small paisley designs, um, ones that you can use for um, lead lighting or if you've got like a really cool glitter polish and then you want to stamp over the top of it so your glitter looks like you've stamped with the glitter but you haven't. Um, those images along the top there are perfect for that. Um, yeah, I, I just haven't got any plates that have got paisley on them and um, just I'm just drawn to Indian images being Indian myself and a lot of saris and that have these sorts of designs so um, I just thought I'd add that one to my collection. Don't know why I didn't buy it originally but um, anyway it's part of the Flower Power collection which is a fairly new range but I mean they've had it out for a few months now but it's still one of the newer ranges that they've had out so um, Flower Power collection 15 and it's got dahlia on the back of the um, plate as well. Next up is it a really, really old plate that they've probably had out from um, one of the first ranges that they would have bought out is um, Frenchie. So this is a really basic, basic plate, but I just I like the idea of it because um, it's got French tips and they're just all plain French tips. But 
sometimes it's really hard to draw straight lines or if you're in a rush if you're just stamping your whole nail image it's nice just to you know do more stamping as opposed to using um, a top coat waiting for that to dry applying vinyls painting removing and then adding another layer of top coat so I thought I would actually um, get a plate that's actually got um, French tips on it the name of this girl is Chloe and um, yeah like I said the plate's just full of um, French tips so very very basic um, but I can actually see me using this and it's got different widths which is really good so if you're using some on your pinky you've got the little narrow ones if you've got you know for your thumb you can go to the wider ones there and you've got all different widths of um, tips as well I think it looked quite cool so that's the reason I bought that plate there I just didn't want any patterns on there just wanted just plain lines so that's that one there Frenchy Collection 09 that, the only plate I've actually got in the um, Frenchy um, collection, that one there. Um, next up we've got Explorer. So Explorer's been around, that's probably one of the original ranges that they bought out to in the early days. Um, so this is not one of the, it's, well it's number 21 so it would have been probably one of the ranges that they bought out. Not the core range, but one at a later date. So it's got, um, the girl's name is Nora, Nora the Explorer. Very um, clever with their rhyming. It's got a really cool sleeve on it with um, sort of layered um, fauna leaves and things like that. It looks really nice and a great use of the pink and green combo as well. I really do like that. Um, and so this one here had a real um, Indian flavour to it. So um, it's plate number 21. Um, and I just thought I, I'd be, I've got it really more as a collector's point of view, not purely just to do manis but I got it more for collecting because um, you know I'm of Indian origin so I um, really liked some of the images that you got the India flag there it's got an orm sign um, I've forgotten what these things are called that usually have them um, hanging in, in your parting of your hair and then this bit sort of gets clipped on the sides and then this is on your forehead um, quite often ladies that are going to get married wear those, but I can't remember what the name is of it. Um, you've got a lotus flower, you've got a, um, there you go, she's wearing one of her hair. Uh, yeah, she's very elegant looking, she's dressed up, and um, there's an elephant with a, um, I don't know what it's called, a carriage thing on the back so you can have a ride in there. It's got some nice mandala type images there, and another one down there. That actually almost looks like the wheel that's in the middle of the India flag. That's sort of the centre part of it there. Sorry if I'm um, blinding you guys with the light. Um, there's another little like a flower type image with an orm sign in the middle again. Um, these two images of Ganesh. He's one of the, um, he's the elephant god for people that don't know. And then there's a Taj Mahal and just another swirly design. And um, that one there has got the image of Nora the Explorer on the back. I wonder if Dora the Explorer's name came from this or the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> um, here we go. This is one from the Steve, Steampunk collection. So um, when Steampunk first came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really, really need to get some of these plates from this collection. And I held off and I held off. And I've, I think I've even done a couple of um, orders since they first came out. And I don't know why I didn't order any, but this time... I thought, right, I'm going to just go ahead and order a plate now. I think I just sort of, I really wanted all of them, and then afterwards I sort of fell out of love with them, but then I kind of wanted them again, and I've seen ladies do different um, stamping images with them, and a lot of them have the gears and things like that, as you can see from the sleeve here as well. Um, yeah, really cool designs. I haven't seen many... Um, other collections that have had gears and um, steampunk themes and things like that on them so I just thought it would actually be quite nice to um, to get one you know in my collection if I felt like doing um, a design like that so this number is 06 and the girl's name is Mercy you can see there um, I really like the, the gold um, and brown combos that they've used on the um, 
sleeve there, very cool. She's got a mechanical arm as well and a mechanical bird. And so this plate number six um, is not a full plate image, so you've got 18 images on there all together. And um, um, so yeah, 18 images and they're very, to me they look very art deco but they still have a bit of a steampunk element. So a lot of these images do have like little tiny tiny little gears in amongst them. See, so you think, oh yeah that looks like mermaid scales. But when you look, there's little um, gears in there. And even the image there, it looks, the top of it looks quite tribal or Aztec. And then you look down here and there's like little gears inside. So yeah, really cool. I just, um, that's definitely Art Deco. Well, I see that as Art Deco. Um, but yeah, some really cool designs. And um, there's another one with, um, so that looks like peacock feather to me. But then when you look at it, it's got gears in it. That's better, got some focus now. That looks like one of those wrought iron gates. That's really cool. I like that, that's different. So you could do sort of like that on your um, tip of your nail. Or you could have it coming up your nail that way around. That one's got a gear in the middle of it. Oh, and that one's actually got two gears on the side. I never noticed those before. Um, and there's some other really cool images there. So yeah, that's plate number six. Um, I didn't show you the back of it. So that's got Mercy on the back as well, with her mechanical bird. Um, and that's Steampunk Collection 06. Next up is um, one, so that's the first plate I've got in the Steampunk Collection, and this is the one and only plate I've got in the Fighter Collection. This one here has got some really cool um, tire track marks on the um, front of the cover. The name of the girl is Tara. Tara the biker. And um, it's plate number eight. So this one here is a full plate image. You've probably seen this one. Um, it's probably been used oh, multiple, hundreds of times before by other girls. And I've definitely seen this image here of the skeleton man, or skeleton, riding the motorbike. And um, I've seen that done loads of times and quite often girls have it going across their nails. So they use that image across all of their nails. They break it all up and it, it looks really amazing. But the reason I bought this plate was actually for these birds here. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah, I mean, I will definitely use other parts of the plate. Um, I really like the roses down there. I think the tire track or tread marks there are really cool. There's even um, a barbed wire fence there. So that would be really cool for a mini. You've got your, your Route 66 sign, which is fantastic. Um, you've got, you know, skull heads there, skulls. You've got leaves, which you could use for autumn manis. You've got um, flames. You've got a, the American flag. You've got the eagle. Really like, another, there's another one of those birds. So they're all quite, I just love their wings and that. They're absolutely beautiful. I think they're swallows. And um, I really like that love sort of, I don't know, banner type thing, it's really cool. Um, then you've actually got a, a like a tattoo type, you know, image um, which, which has got mom written in it with a um, sword going through the back of it. And then you've actually got a star image with um, some leaves around it and then you've got a bit of bark going there. There's another bird, I've just spotted that bird down there with a rose. So it's, it's jam-packed. Oh look, there's even some gears in the middle of it too. So, oh, born to be wild. Yeah, just really liked it. I mean, it's got a lot on that plate. Um, yeah, so you don't have to buy it if you're, in, you know, if you're not into bikes and things, doesn't really matter. Um, I bought it for other reasons. So, um, I mean, there's just heaps on that plate um, that I'm sure I'm going to be able to use. And um, again, it's one of the older ones that um, they've had out for quite a while. So it's only got Moe London written on the back. Hasn't actually got um, the girl, the pin up the girl.